Hello, my name is Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I am a tarot-based life consultant and I've got a message today for the water signs. This is for Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. We've got the Knight of Swords on this side going into King of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and then on the other side we've got the Page of Swords. Whoops. Page of Swords, and then the Magician. I'm going to put these down for a second tell you the story of what's going on here. Now, this is the perfect setup for a family, and for some of you, this may be an actual blood family, or it could be a work family, you know, where you have the boss or the provider, the main, the head honcho, and then you have your, your co-workers. I'm going to talk as if it's a family, because I think that's just a bit more universal. So we have, you know, the members of the family with this head, the head of the family, so the, the father figure, the provider, the one who is more traditional. So this, this family that I'm tapping into is a bit more of a traditional-minded family. Now, as what happens with a lot of families is that there's some kind of drama going on, and that's our Knight of Swords here. Someone is convinced they're right, and they're just causing an argument. And rather than the Three of Cups, who are people that understand each other and flow and they just enjoy each other's company, the knight is always out there to figure out what is wrong. And instead of approaching the problem or person with some empathy, they go at it with accusations and they go at it with um, kind of self-righteousness. And that creates more conflict. Now, you may be involved in this conflict or you may be sitting back watching it. I think for a lot of you water signs, you're sitting back watching it, but it's hard not to get involved because you are part of that group. And what's going on here, This uh, the way the reading was drawn, the Page of Swords is trying to go into the Magician. And what that means is that you, it's not necessarily turning your back on the family, but it's turning your back on the family drama. Because when you get yourself pulled into this family drama stuff, it actually lowers your own vibration. It lowers your ability to manifest the things that you want to manifest. So, um, you know, in just very general, broad terms, positive energy is up here, negative energy is, well, you can't even see it, it's so low, it's down here. And when we want to create things, we need to get as close to the, po the pure positive energy of love as possible. We have to get up here. So any time or any emotional energy wasted on this kind of thing, where the person is not going in with the intention of love, this guy doesn't have the intention of love behind him. He's got the intention of ego and fear, which is right and wrong, black and white. I am right and you are wrong. There's there's no compassion or empathy in there. It's It's so far away from love. So anyway, when you involve yourself in that kind of stuff, then you stick your energy lower. And that really affects the um, extent to which you manifest your own life. So even if the drama has nothing to do with you, you getting involved in it, it's still pulling you down. And the message here is really turn your head away. It's not turn your heart away, but turn your head away and really focus on what you want. Think about what you want, the kind of interactions you want to have, the kind of dynamics you want to have with your family. I mean, it's open when the magician appears. It could be manifesting anything, relationships, career, things you want to have happen to you, that kind of stuff. But let's stay in the relationship thing for now. Kind of turn your back on the, what's going on with that family drama and think about the kind of connections that are sustaining and nurturing for you. And your attention really needs to be on that because that's going to create your world. Either people in this family dynamic are going to respond to you and they're going to approach you the way that you're trying to manifest. So if you say, okay, I want more loving, understanding connections, these people in the family, you know, this one may fly off and do what he does. They may turn back to you and interact with you only with love and understanding and compassion. Now, if this guy stays present, they may decide to do their little dance in a circle swirling around and, and arguing, but it really won't matter because the energy you've put forward to manifesting these more positive connections, they will start to come to you and um, that will become your nurturing and sustaining thing. You won't even miss the fact that you're spending less time here because they're involved in their whatever it is. Okay, so really the underlying message is look out for yourself and it's okay to do that. You're not abandoning anyone. What you're doing is you're lighting the way 
to more loving, warm, open, compassionate, understanding relationships. And if they want to follow you, great. If they don't want to follow you, it's okay. You know, just give them the space to do what they need to do to work out what it is they need to work out. So I hope this was helpful to you. I would love to hear from you. Please reach out in the comments below. Um, if you'd like to see more videos every week, please subscribe. And um, if you feel that you would benefit from a tarot reading, I am available for you. I do readings over Skype and Zoom. So just reach out on my website below and I'll see you next week.